All right, computer apps class. I'm guessing a lot of the stuff on this review sheet is pretty straightforward. As you look at uh, the stuff for Microsoft Word, the stuff for Microsoft Excel, and the stuff from PowerPoint and Google Docs, a lot of it is quite straightforward, and I'll give you a chance to ask. But there are a few th important things that I want you to practice before the final to make sure that you know. And uh, some of those are in Excel. Um, and some of those are in Word and PowerPoint, and some are with both. But the first would be this one. This is probably the most complex thing we did, and maybe at some point the most helpful. So this is the mail merge, and you will have to do this on the final, and you're going to have to raise your hand and show it to me. And so I'll tell you more about the grading of that later. But here's how you do it. Uh, the first thing you should do is come up with an address list and you already have one of these made it's your customer database okay so this is the way it's probably titled somewhere and if not if you have to get it from Edmodo pause right now and get it from Edmodo because you're gonna need it for the final as well so make sure that's filled out and uh, we've got 10 people on our list so that's the first thing you need second is make sure you have a blank Word document open. Not Google Docs, but Word here. And then you would go to mailings and you would click start mail merge. And here we are going to do the step by step mail merge wizard. And we're typing a letter. By the way, yours might look slightly different because I think mine is one Word version newer than most of yours. Um, we're going to use the current document right here. And we are going to use an existing list because we already have it. It's open right here. And to find that, we're going to browse. And now you're going to see me go into my folder to get and locate my customer database. So this is what you need to find. So if you had to go get it from Edmodo, you make sure it's saved on your P drive. So I am going to click on it and then you're going to get this notice. I'll just click OK for now on there. And then you'll get this notice that shows your customer database. And it works best, as you probably remember, when these labels are really clear at the top. So, click OK, and now we can start the mail merge. So, we're going to write our letter, click on Next right here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add an address block. And if I have everything correct, I go right here and you can see that my address block is just how I'd want it. This is how it should look officially. My, it's my sister's name, her old address, and city and state. And if that does not match up, you can click on match fields and then it'll take the headings from your columns on your Excel document. You can see here are all the headings on my Excel document. And just make sure they're matched up. You want to make sure first name is matched up, last name is matched up, address, city, state, and postal code with, uh, with zip. Because I had entered them incorrectly, it automatically did that, but you may need to manually change some of these and just change it until it looks like this. So if you need to pause the video now and do that, go right ahead. Then I'm going to click OK. And you'll notice I get an address block right here. Now, I'm going to go down, I'm going to press Enter twice, and I'm going to add a greeting line. And you can see that this is how I want it to look. Again, the first name on my list is my sister. And if that does not look right, if it only says the last name, like it happened to some of you before, you've got to match fields again. Now, of course, for the greeting line, the only two things you need are first name and last name. So you may need to match those up to whatever the headings are on your Excel document. And click OK. So, those are two things that you need. Third thing that you need is just to write a brief note. 
And I'm actually going to pause this while I write this. It's not worth having this show everything that I write. So I'll pause and I'll resume in just a moment. So I typed a very simple letter. This is just a thank you note for a birthday gift. And what I'm also going to ask you to do is your choice. Make sure you add in one other custom feature on your mail merge. Here I decided to add in hobbies. This is going to look a little creepy because you know people's hobbies or you made up people's hobbies, but if it's a real letter you would know people's hobbies because they told you somehow on a survey or something that you made into an Excel document. But now I have right here my address block, right here my greeting line, and right here I added in their hobbies. I'm really glad you like to. Let's see if that actually works depending on how I entered it in. But somewhere in your letter add a custom feature and the way I did that is I just went to more items and I wrote the sentence up to here and then I clicked on hobbies. So if you want to get really creepy you can tell them you know their cell phone number but I would, wouldn't do that I don't think. So now we're going to preview our letters. So you can see some of my capitalization here doesn't work and, and that's okay. If this were a real letter I would uh, want to make sure that it was correct but it's just a practice to do a mail merge. So a few things. I noticed that my address block here is not how I want it to be and we fixed this before and the way that you fix that is you go you highlight it and then you go to this little selection right here and you just go to remove space after paragraph because what it thinks is in between all of these is a new paragraph for whatever reason but if I just click that then I don't have that space there so that works really well other than that I have my letter for ten different people so that is all you need to do In fact, the way I have these written, I realize that if I just delete two, that will actually work. Hey, look at that. <laughs> okay, so that's how you do a mail merge. And now I would save this document and would show it to me. So you'll show that to me. And uh, that'll be all you have to do for the mail merge section. So. Give this a try, watch the video again if you need to, and make sure you know how to do it. All right.